My husband Todd and I live in Wasilla, Alaska with our five kids. Yay! Where's your bike? Todd is like Mr. Mom because he loves kids. That was one of the things that attracted me to him. We both knew that we wanted a big family. Ready? Whoa. Trigg was born with Down syndrome. There's some struggles, some challenges, but he is such a joy in our life. He helps us really focus in on the heart of a family. We both pitch in and, and do whatever needs to be done to raise this family and run a household. I feel like I found the perfect person for me and I was lucky to have found him at such a young age. <laughs> Dad, how come you never climbed McKinley? No, I regret not doing it and I know I'll never do it now. It's one of those bucket list things though. Yeah. For a lot of Alaskans. Yeah. I asked my dad, you know, why didn't you ever climb Mount McKinley? That's like a badge of honor for an Alaskan or anybody else who understands that this is the largest mountain in North America. Wouldn't you have wanted to climb it? And how many days does it take? Depends on the weather. They figure 14, 14 minimum. I want a little piece of that. I at least want to be there on Mount McKinley, being able to climb that and say, OK, tiny, tiny sliver of the mountain, but I did it. I want to be able to do that. Hey, Sarah, thank you for coming with me. Thank you, Dad. It was a blast. Glad to get to know you again. <laughs> Just like old times. When Sarah shot that caribou, I immediately thought, that's my girl. That's the girl I raised, and I'm glad I raised her that way. My dad, he's my hero. I've hunted with him all my life. Dad has always said life is too short to be stuck in a rut. It's one of the lessons that I learned from him when I was a little girl. We want to seize the moment. We want to get out there and, and enjoy and produce and contribute and work. My dad has taught me that if you want to have wild, organic, healthy food, you're going to go out there and hunt yourself and fish yourself, and you're going to fill up your freezer. You know, my dad has lived that, and I got to see it firsthand, how somebody like my dad has been happy and fulfilled because he's worked so hard. That's what he instilled in me, and that is now what I get to pass on to my children. Lena, I'll bake some cakes tonight for Willow's birthday. Oh, okay. Did you go on this line, sir? Yeah. Each year for the salmon fishing season, the whole family headquarters out of Todd's mom's house. Done. Time to read a book. This high chair has been through each kid. Oh, I think starting all the with the grandkids. And now a great great grandkid. Hi. I'm gonna bug you till you say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Right here. Uh-oh, where's the bed going? This year, we have five generations in the house, from Todd's grandmother, Lena, a Yupik Eskimo, all the way down to my daughter, Bristol's son, Trip. I think he's hungry. What you want, baby? Oh, let's have a banana. Bristol couldn't come over this season, so to kind of give her a little bit of a break and for our own enjoyment, we brought her baby, Trip, over with us. You can't bug them. Sorry, you can't bug them. You're going to take a happy nap. Can you have your attention? Yeah. Our precious father, we have come together as a family and friends and visitors, Lord, and a happy birthday to my great-granddaughter. We pray that you continue to keep her well and happy, Lord. And I don't like birthdays, personally. <laughs> it just, I don't like attention on me. And we pray for the fishermen who will be catching a lot of fish, Lord. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. 
first Ooh. we'll sing happy birthday Dad. we don't want the kids to be so materialistically spoiled but we want them spoiled in terms of knowing what family love and camaraderie and teamwork is all about so a party like this with all the family being there together and celebrating her birthday has it, it means a lot to us the number of kids I wanted was five, but the last was a surprise. You got lucky. Twins. I'm jealous. Oh my gosh. So Piper, one of the twins, how's he doing? He's awesome. He's in the house and you can go see him. I want to see him. Piper, he has Down syndrome. Just like your little baby. Just like Trigby. Uh -huh. He teaches our whole family about patience, about a love that is so deep. And there's me. Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Come here. Oh, he likes airplanes. So let's go look at the airplane. Let's Matthew. go look at the airplane. Yeah. Oh. Matthew, this is your cousin Piper. Yeah, say hi to Piper. Do you want to shake her hand? Yeah, that's nice, Matthew. Yeah. Well, I'm um, getting to meet our little cousin there, Matthew, Ina's son. Uh, you know, it kind of gives me um, maybe a look at uh, 10 years from now, Trig. And um, he's a beautiful child. Maybe you could come over to Dillingham, okay? Uh -huh. You could come, and, and you could bring your sisters and your brother, and you could come play with us over at your auntie's house. Uh -huh. And all the kids would come with you, so you wouldn't be lonely. He is a welcomed and loved child, and I sure hope that I can look forward to that in Trigg's life, that people will embrace him and treat him just like one of the other kids and expect work out of him. Good. Hey, do you like eating the fish, too? Do you like fish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's good. That's yeah, good. It's really good. That's and your good. mom and your me, sisters. Me, me, me. Eat the fish. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Trig does that. Does he get to go flying with you, John Paul? Oh, yeah, he loves it. Yeah, yeah, they pilot. like airplanes big time. When we found out that Trig would be born with Down syndrome, and I said, well, wow, what do we anticipate? What are our goals for this child, Trig, and what will he be able to do? And the first thing Todd told me was, he's going to come flying with me, and he's going to love it. Oh, thank you. Gave Sarah a kiss. So getting to see little Matthew, it gives me a lot of um, hope and something to look forward to with Trig. Do you see the dogs? Are you excited? Happy, happy, happy hands. Oh, no. You know, it's a perfect way to end a day for us here in Alaska. Have a kiss. Papa. It also, I think, really reaffirms for our younger kids that family is so important. I know. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's family whom you can count on. So Is that your baby? Is that your baby? Come here, Kippy. Kippy. Mom, don't Open forget this stuff in the back. It won't blow out. Yeah, it will. It won't. Track promised Piper that they would do fireworks. He let other guys go out on the boat, and he sacrificed a lot of money because that peak finally hit. Whoa. Uh, track, take it. Just hold it, bro. Have you ever done a really wild, fun 4th of July? Usually everybody comes out, but fishing and tired or something weird. Everybody's out fishing. A typical Palin 4th of July, wouldn't you say, Track? We don't usually do a whole lot on the fourth. At least we're all um, in the same area. At least we're all in the same area, that's true, it's cool. You know, he's my firstborn, so he has my heart, he always has. I'll never forget the summer, Track was two months old. I brought my mom over to babysit Track, and it just killed me to have to leave my newborn baby while I was out on the water for days on end. But um, now, 21 years later, it amazes me to see this man take over the fishing operation it makes me very, very proud of my son to know that he has learned a lot from his dad. So we're really proud to have learned that our son was ready to captain the site and take over. And it's a family tradition. And someday I anticipate that Piper is going to be able to take it over from track. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! You're missing it! I've 
very blessed to get to be a part of this, uh, this lifestyle. You know, it's all about family for us and it's all about um, teaching kids strong work ethic and being together and being productive and passing on from generation to generation a really great tradition. Wouldn't trade an experience like this for anything in the world. Pretty, is that pretty? <laughs> Happy birthday, Willow! Where's your muscles? Oh my goodness! Bye, Chippy. Can I have a kiss? Bye. Give me a kiss. Bye, I love you. So people got to see a lot of what it is that we do as Alaskans on these adventures. And you know, the guy has been by my side through all those adventures, plus many more than what you saw for 30 years now is Todd. Nobody that I would rather have by my side. What's easier for you, right or left? Right. Then practice left a lot. My dad came home for basketball practice and he said, uh, some new transfer to Wasilla High School, the best basketball player we've ever had. And my ears perked up and I said, I gotta meet this new kid in town. And it was Todd. Todd, this is so much better than the shot against that wall. The background looks great. He is such a helpmate. It's some good yin and yang because we have different personalities. You want water? You want coffee? What you need? Why are you offering me things? Oh, I always do. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do to help? It smells heavenly. Do you know what you're doing? Of course I do. Did you cook that? Yes. Did you really? Yes. That's right on. You did good. Uh, in a little while. I like sushi. I eat it raw anyway. There have been times where we've lived paycheck to paycheck. There have been times that uh, we felt just overwhelmed with blessings. Todd never sleeps. I don't know how he does it, but he's like Superman. Could never have done any of this without him. So it's always been a great thing that Todd has been right there by my side through it all. Hot. Hot. Are you nice in the morning? <laughs> happy hands, happy hands. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs> happy. Be happy. Trig is the light of my life. People are jerks about Trig being born with Down syndrome. 85 to 90% of babies are aborted with Down syndrome. Dancing, dancing. They can have their opinion, but we have ours. I'm loving you. Hey guys. The hey, bus. No this is the part that I detest. I know. I donven... We don't like feelings either. <laughs> no. Well. Safe Spirit. trip home. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, you be safe. And don't Have let fun. it be the last time. We'll be back. We'll Keep be back. the same attitude, too. Yeah. Same I perspective. Will. Yeah. <laughs> nice Thank to meet you. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. You're great. You got one last time. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Sarah. It's been we'll nice be getting to know you as a person. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, you know, when Sarah, Chuck, and Becker leave, I won't see anybody for nine months. You know, as governor, Sarah really affected my life as an Alaskan. But to uh, be able to meet them, get to know them as humans, um, they became my friends very quickly. And uh, very hard to see your friends leave. You know, they're not just people that I hear about, they're neighbors now. But my neighbors just live a thousand miles away. She's a very amazing and inspiring woman, encapsulating that Alaskan spirit, pioneering, independent, not looking for anybody else to meet challenges for her. She's gonna do it herself. That's what you see in Sue. Chuck, let's pray God's hand of protection. Dear Lord, I ask that we have a safe day on the bottom. Please look out for all our family and keep us all safe. Amen. 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 All right. All right. How was it? Oh, 
I'm so glad you made it safely. Mm. Right after the Alaska Mint, we wanted to stop by mom and dad's to present them their anniversary gift. You guys, 50 years they've been married. Years of marital bliss. Piper. Piper, do you have their oh, present? Yeah. Okay, listen. This is the 50th year of you two being together. Wow. 50th year is the golden anniversary. We thought that we'd take a little of gold that we found and see if we could make it into something for you. <laughs> no, just a minute. Oh, look. Show the kids, yeah. So the kids. Willow, are you looking? Sally was very excited, very shocked. You know, Sally's a humble, caring person, and when she received that, she thoroughly, thoroughly was amazed and enjoyed that. This is not real. They made that. It's all, it's, it's real gold, that coin is. Grandpa. <laughs> this is the actual gold that we pulled out out of the ocean, the bottom of the ocean from Nome. Did you find some gold And up there? we melted it and we wow. turned it into a, a solid gold half ounce. That's oh my you, goodness. That's what you got when you're yeah. rich. That is honest to goodness. The gold that we found. 24 hours ago, that was gold that no man had ever touched before. No, aren't you glad you married me? Isn't that special? You know, when I, I look at my brother and my parents and, and Todd, I just feel so blessed. When critics say what they're going to say, I can let it roll off my back like a duck lets water roll off its back because I have a great Alaskan family, and there's a lot of strength in that. And I'm glad to pass that on to my daughter, Piper. What a special treat. Now, you guys can't imagine how much this means. Well, happy anniversary. Isn't that oh, pretty, thank you, guys. Hey, hey. thanks for, uh, yeah. thanks for bringing us into the world. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for hanging in there for thank 50 you. years. And Sarah, read that plaque. It says, thanks for the Alaskan experience. Happy 50th birthday. Oh, no. that's what we that appreciate. Is so and none nice. of us would have traded growing up here for anything else. No, we sure you were. You are true Alaskans. <laughs>